All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our praise, our honor, and our glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, and next double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of the great millstone, who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety. To all you sincere Akim, keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of whether people hear or whether they forbear. All right, and uh, this video is prompted by a particular scoffer that keeps coming on my comment board. All right, this guy right here. Okay, and usually I just delete the comments, all right, and ignore them, but this particular person is very diligent in commenting on every video that I post over and over. So, you know, that prompted me to search up how to block people from commenting on my channel. All right, so so uh, that's pretty much what this video is about. All right, and then as always, I'm going to bring out some scriptures, and Lord's will is edifying to the elect. All right, so... You know, but in the past, I usually would just uh, ignore the person, you know, delete their comments, whatever. And eventually, you know, they get the message and they would, you know, they would just fade away. All right. But this person, pretty much every video that I put up, they're putting five, six, seven, you know, eight comments on, on each video, just mocking and scoffing. So you know, I was like, you know what? I can't I don't have time to delete every comment. So I just search this up and it tells you. All right. Um, it says hide users from your channel. You can hide particular viewers from the rest of your channel's audience. Hiding someone means their comments won't show on your channel, including on your comments page in the YouTube studio. It also prevents them from creating clips from your videos or live streams. And it just tells you how to do it. All right. So, um, you know, in the YouTube app, uh, you find the comment that they left on your channel or video. And then you can put hide user from channel. Also, uh, you can re uh, report report the comment. You know, I reported each comment for uh, harassment. Okay, and you know it's just because it's annoying, man. You know we we here to edify. We're not here to to go back and forth with these idiots. So um, that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna bring out some scriptures because that's what it's all about. And Lord's will is edifying to the elect. All right, so let's go ahead and, and jump right into it. The Book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 10 is the first scripture I'm going to bring out. All right. And it reads, it says, cast out the scorner and contention shall go out. Yea, strife and reproach shall cease. All right. So when you come across this kind of stuff, they said, don't go back and forth. Just, just cast them out. I mean, you know, on YouTube, it's very easy to do. You know, it's a quick report. You know, hide this user from the channel. Boom. You know, I, you don't got to see him no more. I told this guy a long time ago. You know, guy or gal, you know, whatever it is. I told him, I said, you're not welcome. I don't want to talk to you. I don't know you and I don't owe you. All right, but let's get up. Let's get the definition on the word uh, scorner. All right. A scorner is a person who expresses contempt or disdain for someone or something. All right. And what, what do they come to do? They come to cause contention. Okay. A contention is a heated disagreement and assertion, especially one ma maintained in argument. All right, and ultimately at the end of the day, man, or woman, all right, we got the 100% truth according to the Bible and you don't. That's the reason why you keep coming around after you've been told that you're not wanted, you're not desired, and your presence is not needed. All right, but once again, you know, that's, that's part of the movie, that's part of the game. You can have people like this, they're disgruntled, you know, they're pissed off because wherever they're going to try to, you know, get fed, ain't feeding them so they got to come to our channel but they don't like what they hear so they mock and they scoff all right so when you come across this just cast them out all right proverbs 22 and 10 once again cast out the scorner and contention shall go out yea strife and reproach shall cease all right let's get a uh, proverbs chapter 19 okay and it says proverbs 19 and verse 29 it says judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. All right, so just you know, just ignore them because they, they got their judgment set anyways. I mean, we see what happened to um, like like it tells you in what uh, uh I think Numbers the 16th chapter uh, about what they did. You know, when they came up against Moses, you know, the Lord he opened up the ground on them people, man. All right, you know, killed them and they they whole family. All right, and that's that's what's gonna happen, especially if it's an Edomite. They already threw, so there's no point of even they just doing what they're supposed to do. All right, you know, just playing the role of the devil. The word devil means adversary, slanderer, deceiver. Okay, so they're supposed to slander. They're supposed to mock. They're supposed to scoff. Just, just ignore them, all right? Why? Because judgments are prepared for them and stripes for the backs of fools. So there's no point in engaging. You know, just just let, let them do what they're going to do. And you keep doing what you're going to do, which is preaching the word. All right, the book of Sirach, chapter 27, and verse 28. Okay, it says, 
mockery and reproach are from the proud all right and that's how that's why i think this person is an edomite okay because who who is known of as the proud in the scriptures all right esau edom the so-called white man so mockery and reproach are from the proud but vengeance as a lion shall lie and wait for them okay and who's going to execute that vengeance upon the wicked upon esau the most proud all right yahweh shai the lion of judah all right <clears throat> he's the one that's coming he's going to execute vengeance upon these edomites man so yeah vengeance as a lion the lion of judah i shall lie and wait for them okay so yeah like i said just you know just let it be all right their judgment is already written okay and uh you know for the most part all right for the most part you know, like i said man there's, there's no point the lord he's going to take care of us all right there's no point in going back and forth with them it's a waste of time all right we're here to teach and preach the gospel and if this person had the truth they'd be focused on that as well all right but they don't that's why they're so focused on my channel and what the israelites are talking about all right this person knows deep down that there's no oil all right and the oil represents this truth all right being brought out in them fake ass churches all right and i believe they said that they were apostolic all right apostolic all right that's why they have to come over here to try to get some oil all right but after all that nonsense they've been talking you know i already told them hey you're not welcome so just go away and like uh like gms south carolina elder manasseh doc boss says we don't know you and we don't owe you so you can just fuck off and kick rocks all right i'm not answering any of your questions they've already been answered multiple times i may answer some okay i may answer some questions for the new people all right who are watching who are sincere so they can be edified but other than that you can fuck off and kick rocks all right let's um let's get some more precepts let's get proverbs 14 and 7 all right it says go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge okay that's the thing man we're not debating all right uh gms got the 100 percent truth according to the bible and you don't all right we're not coming on your on your comment boards trying to learn from you and why is that because you don't know nothing and you're not teaching nothing and your page shows that okay this person because that's what that's what i always do when somebody comes in the comments i always go in analyze and examine their page all right this person no videos no street ministry all right just, just worthless wasting space all right and the lord's going to turn you into powder all right so let's get into the scripture let's get uh proverbs 24 and 7 yeah man these, these people your destiny is fire and worms all right this is proverbs 24 and 7 it says wisdom is too high for a fool he openeth not his mouth in the gate all right so that's that's how we know you don't have no truth you you you're not a man of the lord all right and you're a fool according to the scriptures all right because if why if you had the truth and understood then you'd be out there you know teaching and preaching all right and that's no slight to the brothers that are sincerely learning all right because i know that most people they learn for probably at least a year before they jump before they jump off the porch so to speak all right everyone's different you know but if that, if that is you then you're really not in a position to be trying to reprove men on doctrine that have been given the spirit to go out there and teach all right, and once again, this is no slight. You know, it's just true. All right, and I'm going to get one more before I close out. Let's get the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 4. All right, it says, Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. All right, so answer not a fool. Once again, all right, uh, wisdom is too high for a fool. He opens not his mouth in the gate. All right, you're not out there teaching and preaching because you don't have the truth. All right. So we're not going to answer your questions. All right. Now, if, if you were sincere and you want to come and really, you know, learn something, if you came in a, in, a, in a humble spirit, you know, trying to understand why we say the things that we say, you know, then I've been different. I, I'm happy to answer questions for people that, that are sincerely trying to learn. But you came in the spirit of a dickhead, all right? you know, proud, arrogant, you know, talking your nonsense. So, you know, as I always say, you can fuck off and kick rocks. Or so like his Manata Zakba says. All right, but Proverbs 26 and 4. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest thou also be like unto him. All right, so answer not a fool. And once again, how do we know that you're a fool? Because you claim that you have the truth, but you don't open your mouth at the gate like we just read. All right, you're not coming with edification. You're not trying to feed the flock. You're coming mocking and scoffing with a bunch of pointless comments. All right, so you're just, just wasting time. Okay, go out there and preach. If you got the truth, other than that, just shut the hell up, man. All right, because we don't want—we don't have nothing to say to you. All right, we don't give a damn about going back and forth, trying to win debates. All right, we're just focused on fishing for the elect, and you're not one of them. So once again, you can fuck off and kick rocks. 
All right, I'm going to close out with that. Lord's will is edifying to you brothers and sisters out there watching. Thank you for listening, and shalom.